Uh, hi, so I'm just going to be demoing my project for 3D modeling. So I'm going to be modeling a MIDI keyboard, um, or I did model a key MIDI keyboard. So this is the turnaround that I used. Unfortunately, I couldn't get like a front face and a back face, like a full turnaround because, because of like the shape of it and what it is, there's not really much to model on the back. So like here's like mine and like the back of it is just, it's just plain. So there's nothing there for them, I guess, to show us of like side view or so, which I guess is why I can't find any online. But um, yeah, so this is what I came up with by the end. So I modeled, I started with this shape here. So I made this block and it, it was a full block when I started. And I just, it was a cube and I just um, changed the width, the height and the depth. So I changed the width to eight, the height I left the same and I changed the depth to 16. And that's what created the length here. And then I started using the um, like different tools to move, like cut around the shape and create the box, like the box kind of shape that we see here so that the keys could fit in. And then I left that for a bit and I modeled the buttons. So the buttons are on the turnaround and they were they were just one square. I and I made that by um again I just did one square and then I changed the um I used what did I use? I I used the um I use the vertex faces to, no, I use the edge um, setting to like shape the edges. And so that's how I did that. And then I went back into object mode and I just duplicated the buttons and I moved them to the right places. And then I started on the keys. So I made three different types of keys. There's the white key one, there's the white key two, and then there's the black keys here. And so the first white key would be this kind of shape. And that, what's it called? I, I made that and then I just kind of flipped them to make the ones that would go in the other direction. So like this one, I just, um, or this one, I just flipped them over to make them go in the other direction. And I did this by, I made, again, I made a cube and I just changed the dimensions. And then I used the um, mesh tools and I used the multi-cut tool to like um, divide it into two. And then I like um, extruded the, the little bit at the end of it. So this bit here. And then I made the second white key. I did that separately because when I tried to do the same thing to this, it just, it kind of changed what was going on with the first ones. And so just to avoid any kind of trouble, I just made the separate one. And I did the same kind of thing. I used the multi-cut tool to cut the, um, to, to cut this, the, the shape. And then I just extruded both sides and created the key. And then for the black key, I again made a cube. I changed the lots of clothes. I changed the dimensions and I used the tweak tool. So what did I do? I again I used the face the faces or the edge edges and I just made it I just made it smaller on one edge than it was on the other. So that it came down like a normal black keyword at the end, like there. And for the for this I used again I used the multi cut tool a lot a lot um to create the different shapes of the keyboard itself and that's really most of what I did for modeling and then for rendering and lighting I used I tried all the different lights and I was having trouble with some of them so I kind of settled on the directional light for the finished product so that's this one here and it looks like this. And I rotated them to go like around the, I rotated them for them to suit the shape of the model. 
so that they would light it correctly. Because I think I found that that was the problem I was having with the lighting a lot, that when I was putting the lights there, I, I was looking at it from one face only. And so when I would render it, it wouldn't actually, it wouldn't really light the image all that well. But um, by the end, it lit it pretty well. So if I was to do like an example of it here, messages render, and I use panel rendering. I probably want to do a better face of that. Use animal rendering and it lights it pretty well now whenever it decides to load. Yeah. And so then for the cameras, I used two different types of cameras. I used the, I, I just went to create, um, cameras and I the first camera that this, that's this one here is the camera aiming up and the second camera that's this one here is just camera and aim and those I again like I put them where I would want them at the angles I would want them to kind of show from and that's basically everything <laughs>